Today we are going to crochet a salamander. First, let's crochet the body part. For this part, we will use pink coarse bun yarn. Next, I'll show you the specific crochet method. Firstly, we'll work into a magic ring. Hold the end of the yarn, wrap it around your little finger. Then pull it over your index finger, and then wrap it around your middle finger. Press the crossing point of the yarn with your thumb. Insert the hook into the loop. Hook the yarn and pull it out. This completes our magic ring. The first round consists of 8 single crochet stitches, totaling 8 stitches for the round. Next, I'll show you. First, make 1 chain stitch. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pull it through the loop on the hook. And thus a chain stitch is completed. Then start crocheting single crochet stitches. Insert the crochet hook into the loop, hook the yarn and pull it out. At this point, there are two loops on the crochet hook, wrap the yarn and pull through both loops at once. And thus a single crochet stitch is completed. Place a stitch marker at the first stitch. Please note, a stitch marker should be placed at the first stitch of each round, which I won't mention again. I'll demonstrate another single crochet stitch. Please complete the rest on your own. After finishing crocheting, remove your finger and tighten the loop. Remove the stitch marker. and perform a slip stitch at the position of the stitch marker. Insert the crochet hook into the loop, wrap the yarn and pull it through all the loops on the hook. And thus a slip stitch is completed. The first round is also completed. Next, let's crochet the second round. The second round consists of eight single crochet increases which means crocheting two single crochet stitches in each stitch, totaling 16 stitches for the round. I'll show you. First, make one chain stitch. Crochet one single crochet stitch in the first stitch. Then crochet another single crochet in the same stitch. And thus a single crochet increase is completed. I'll demonstrate another one. Please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. And make a slip stitch. And with that, this round is completed. Next, we crochet the third round. The third round consists of one single crochet and one single crochet increase as a set, crochet 8 sets in total, totaling 24 stitches for the round. I'll show you. First, make one chain stitch. Then crochet one single crochet stitch.
Crochet one single crochet increase. And thus one set is completed. I'll show you another set. Please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And with that, this round is completed. Next, we'll crochet the fourth round. The fourth round consists of three single crochet stitches, and one single crochet increase as a set, making six sets in total, resulting in 30 stitches at the end of the round. Let me show you. First, make one chain stitch. Then crochet three single crochet stitches. One single crochet increase. And thus one set is completed. I'll demonstrate another set. and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. And with that, this round is completed. Now, let's crochet the fifth round. The fifth round consists of two single crochet stitches, one single crochet increase, and two single crochet stitches as a set, making six sets in total, resulting in 36 stitches at the end of the round. I'll show you. First, make one chain stitch. Then crochet two single crochet stitches. One single crochet increase. And then two single crochet stitches. completing one set. I'll demonstrate another set.
and please complete the rest on your own. Remove the stitch marker and make a slip stitch. And with that, this round is completed. Next, we crochet from the 6th round to the 15th round. Round 6 to 15 consists of a consistent 36 single crochet stitches, ending with 36 stitches in each round. I'll demonstrate. First, make one chain stitch. Then crochet the first single crochet stitch. The second single crochet stitch. And please crochet the rest until the end of the 15th round on your own. Note, when crocheting to the 10th round, we need to insert safety eyes. Now, as we've reached the 10th round, let's insert the safety eyes between the 7th and 8th rounds. Place the first eye between the 15th and 16th stitches. And the second eye between the 22nd and 23rd stitches. with a space of seven stitches between the two eyes. Secure the eyes with provided fasteners. With the eyes installed, we continue crocheting the consistent parts without increases or decreases. Remove the stitch marker. Make a slip stitch. And with that, rounds 6 to 15 are completed.